Hello everyone, Myth here and welcome back to another video of Rise of Civilization. Today is Lunar New Year Eve, so I just want to say Happy Lunar New Year to everyone around the world, especially to those living in Asia. Okay, so from today, uh, I'm going to do a series of video of me and my friends starting in a brand new kingdom from the first day of Alliance creation, um, to Lost Temple and beyond. Okay, so it's going to be a series of videos. If you're interested to see how I build up the Alliance in New Kingdom, feel free to subscribe and follow um, every of my video. I will be giving out tips and guides along the way as well. So in today's video, it's going to be the first video of the series and I will be talking about my jumper account. So my jumper account, as you can see here, 390k power and I have been playing it for four days like you can go see my beginning teleport I still have six days left on that so you have 10 days uh, to spend on your jumper account and the first thing what you need to do is make the account in an old kingdom so I think I I made an account in kingdom one because there's a lot of jumper there and you can chat with people um, it's a lot of fun um, but you can make between Kingdom 1 to Kingdom 40, I think. That's the number uh, because they will contain gold keys uh, with Richard and E. Okay, I put them both. So basically what you want to do in your first kingdom is you uh, level everything to level 7. Okay, and try as many troops as you can while collect tribe rewards and cave rewards throughout the map and once you finish all the tribe and cave rewards you teleport to a new kingdom in this case i teleport to 1227 it's a kingdom that's like a week old or something um the reason for it is big that i can because you have two teleports you have two beginner teleports i used one already so i still have one more i can teleport to the final final destination um so once i get here what you're gonna do is you're gonna default the map if you got time. I got a lot of time, so I just um, default everything. Collect tribe, collect um, cave rewards again. Uh, they actually give a lot of good stuff, especially EXP pool. As you can see, my general is already level 46 on the way to level 47. Uh, I'm planning to six star him before the first mighty discovery event. Okay, so once you jump to the middle kingdom you, that's what you want to do and also the middle kingdom will have low heart events okay you want to do some low heart as you can see i have 165 necklace saved up to benefits my alliance uh, once we move to the new kingdom um so do that and of course the rise of civilization events um, with rise of civilization events you get to claim the rewards here then the progress will carry over into the final kingdom that you're going to teleport. So say if I've done 62 out of 100 here, I want to teleport to the final kingdom, it wouldn't reset, it will still uh, be 62 out of 100, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, and obviously, I'm just doing a little bit um, the red pocket event since it's Lunar New Year. I also timed the jump with Lunar New Year, so it's something to do, okay? Um, what else? What else in this new kingdom? So you get all the caves, get all the tribes, and also join an OK alliance. Um, because uh, during your time of stay in Middle Kingdom, I say around maybe up to you, two days to seven days, or oh, OK, as long as your beginner teleport doesn't expire, OK? I joined like a quite good alliance, and they had the first occupation of the sanctum so i got the rewards there okay the bigger alliance you join the better rewards you obviously gonna get i think some alliance um took three sanctums already okay so that's a lot of rewards there um and obviously is you will be um you want to know what commander setup i would have in my new kingdom right so this is what i think I'm going to run Blisserus and Minamoto full cavalry. Uh, I use Blisserus six uh, as main com commander because 
uh, he is mobility calf, and you know I love mobility because of uh, hasty departure talent. I think he's the greatest talent in the game. Okay, and I'm not training up Cao Cao yet because it's very hard to six star legendary, and a six star epic will be stronger than five star legendary because at level sixty you have twenty more points. Even at level fifty one you have ten more points than, um, than a level fifty. Okay, talent points, and I think I will be almost maxing his skill. Mm, by the time kill event comes. Okay, so I'll be running a six star Blessurus and. Minamoto on full cavalry So that's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to make videos on that and with the gatherers I just get them to level 13 because with level 13 You can max this three. Well, actually you need level 6 level 15. Sorry, you need level 15 to max this three um, and after that like the only improvement is this one and that takes a lot of time so let level your gatherer to level 15 Okay um, yeah, and that's pretty much my plan with commanders, and I think uh, after I set up my full cavalry, I'm focusing on either Richard or E. E got a nerf, okay, so I'm more thinking of uh, going for riches. As you can see, I have 77 legendary commander statues at the moment, so I can pretty much max his first skill. Um, if you guys have different opinion, if you think E is still extremely good, Feel free to leave it in the comment section. I'm still thinking about it because I never get to play with E before in the Old Kingdom, so I'm like really itchy to play with E. Um, so I just got new tribe found. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And a very important thing is with beginner teleport. Uh, once you you make your Jumper account, do not ever use any teleport. Don't use random, well, random I'm not sure, but do not use territorial and targeted because if you use those teleport, it will actually automatically consume your beginner teleport. So if you use it two times, you forever stuck in the old kingdom, okay? So do not teleport uh, with your jumper account till you go into a new server. Yeah, so that's pretty much my tips with the jumper account. Uh, as you can see, um, we're probably going to teleport in two, three days, I don't know. Um, I'll be probably 450k power at a time. So it's a it's very good head start uh, for most people. And um, yeah, so that will be the end of this video. Um, please uh, feel free to subscribe to me if you're interested in seeing my future series videos to, um, till we unlock Lost Temple. Okay, so happy Lunar New Year again, everyone, and see you guys in the next video. Bye.